Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Resident Evil Code Veronica X. In the last episode, we went to the creepy mansion and, uh, saw who Alexia Ashford is. Um, nice girl, for sure. Um, this episode we're gonna be going to, uh, back to the prison, actually, which is, uh, really cool. Like I said, visitation and, you know, these newer parts. Did I get the grenade launcher? I'm pretty sure I did. I could be wrong. I'm not sure, in all honesty. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> Yeah, we're gonna go back to the prison because we actually have an eagle plate, which is really it's, it's needed for it. It's required for it. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but um, you know that area with the guillotine or whatever the guillotine, whatever the frick it's called. Um, there was actually an eagle plate indent there, and uh, you you need the eagle plate obviously to get in there unless you can clip through or something, which I doubt. Oh god, I forgot about these guys. Ah, oh, easy to dodge. Oh. Ah, 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 mad. All right, <laughs> god, they have long arms, dude. All right. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> someone told me to turn up the brightness of this game, and I, in my last, I think episode five, I think I don't know. Episode six isn't up yet because I'm recording. Episode six and previous was in a different recording session. Um, what is it? I really would like to, but I really can't. Like I tried upping it in the game, and I can't up it. And like if I upped it in like Vegas or something, it would just look really bad. I apologize for the, if it's dark or something. I'm doing the best I can. I honestly am, because I've had render setting problems that made it really dark, I've had other problems that made it really dark, and I just can't do it anymore, <laughs> really, I don't know, I, I added a filter to make it look a little bit better, by the way, we're going back to the original first area of the game, just because, um, we'll drop a little present off, <clears throat> oh god, I forgot about this part, uh, yeah, see, like, it's really dark in the game, it's like, it's supposed to be dark, it's a dark game, ah! oh man, that poor dodge, that poor dodge, that poor dodge, damn it, Oh man. Eh, yeah, whatever. Claire has amazing vitality for some weird ass reason. Yes, we're going back to visit Enrico. Is that his name? No, Enrico is. Enrico! That's, that's already won. My bad. Is it said that I actually had to reenact like the, state, the scene that happened? That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh well. Alright. What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. And we got the lockpick <clears throat> in exchange for the lighter. Basically, that's what happens, essentially. You give him the medicine, which he's an asshole about. He's like, oh, by the way, um, you didn't need to come help me, by the way. Which I don't know what homostatic, me homostatic medicine even does. I'm assuming it's, like, for, like, um, gashes and stuff, because, I mean... He didn't get bit, according to the, the book. Um, he got hit by a rock on an explosion that, like, knocked out the lights, remember? In the very first episode? Crap. Um, yeah, so he got hit by a rock. Oh, frick, dude. I can't get rid of these dudes. Eh. This part's, like, the worst, because, like, not only do the zombies respawn, they're hard to dodge. Do I have a healing item? I don't. Crap. That's fine. Whatever. Really, there's no more zombies that have to fight? Yes, there is. But I have an item box coming up, so it's all good. Okay, um, dodge, 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 e. but yeah, um, he basically is like, I'm assuming it like stops bleeding, which by this point, he would probably would have bled out anyway, but whatever, it's not my concern, but it's, that's not required, I actually didn't know that until recently, that the whole cutscene isn't required, oh, there's zombies back here, well, wonderful, five, those of you wondering, I was counting to reload. You did? Okay, you did. Okay, so here's the eagle plate. Put it in here. Boom. Oh god, ninja zombies. Guy, death. 
Just knock him down, honestly, that's all you need. Oh, golly gosh, okay. I'll fight him later. I did actually, golly gosh, what the frick is wrong with me? Okay. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, dude. Isn't there an herb back here? I think because well, there's an herb. Yeah, there it is. Ah, shit. It's funny because it's actually brighter on my capture card than it is on my TV, so people who bitch about saying it's too dark, not bitch, but like say that it's too dark, should play it on my TV. My, my TV is like what it renders out to be, essentially, which is kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe my TV's like, oh, you're too dark or something. I don't, don't freaking know. That'd be kind of funny if that was actually the case, though. Okay. Alright. Now, if you go through this door, you'll actually see where it comes out to, which we'll do in a second. It's herbs, it's not the herbs, freaking. What do you call it? I don't even freaking know. <laughs> uh, handgun bullets, that's it. I mentioned this before, but why are handgun bullets in a red box? <gasps> We're back here! <gasps> Secret passage! I never really explained what that door was about. It's blocked. If you go there before, it's just that box I just unblocked with. Also, there's zombies here now, what? <laughs> Get these biogas things. But those are the only bogus rounds in the game, mind you. Get this first aid spray. Get it. Thank you. I could go for, you know, a, a no whatever run, but whatever. Ah. Fall into the thing. Please deposit nope. Any nope. Nope. Have Don't want to. Give me whatever you have in here. Except for the ink ribbons, lol. Okay. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Yeah, that's why they're even there. I mean, obviously, you had there had to have been a way to get them, so I mean, might as well get them now, right? So, those of you wondering, I'm drinking Capri Sun. Capri Sun's pretty good. Okay, put these here. Put these here. I kind of want to bring a healing item with me, so I'll do that. Just this. Oh, we have the lockpick now, so we can open up this case. Yeah. Alright. Check it to the top. This is locked by a simple lock. Use the lock pick. Oh, there's bow gun rounds in there. There's bow gun whatever they're called. Yay, a bow gun powder. You see, there's 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 a lot of these in the game. I think there's like 50 total. I'm pretty sure. Not positive though. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I know you can get 30 as clear like easily. Like that's one. The one in the weapon box case is one. And then the one. Uh, um. There's one later on that's like right in the open. It's kind of awesome. <clears throat> and there's like, a, I think there's one more than that. But I've talked about freaking that forever. Okay. Hey. Um. Get these. It's kind of hard to see because like depth, depth perception is kind of a nuisance. Get this just for the whales. Um. Hello. Appears you've been an anatomized. He's not breathing. Well, that sucks. Bloodstained scaffolds are scattered here. Um, very creepy environment, I must say. What is this? Ooh, a file. Anatomist note. Elaborate model of a human body. Something seems to be missing. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Obviously the eye. Lol. Um. Hello. What are you? A body bag has been left here. Well, that's a cool story. Um. Well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's probably worry. Oh god, there's zombies in here, and they're on foia. A torture room, Jesus. Ooh, another case thingy. I want it. Yeah. Alright, let's see what it is. No, you see, you can't get this without the lockpick, which is nice. What? Is that a gun? <gasps> and it's probably for the. Um, is that what we have? It better be. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Julio, um. 
Now, the thing about this stun gun is it has 20 bullets. It can have auto or manual. Auto fires fast. Like, watch. Hold on, where is it? Boom. Like, it's like a freaking machine gun. But also waste ammo like no other. Really. Like, I would kill these guys, but there's really not a point to it. Like, look, I already wasted 20 bullets. Like, it's kind of insane. But the thing is, it's really good for, like, not powerful zombies, but, like, the ones that are fast. Like, the, I, if someone calls it, I know one of my, the guy, people I watch who make the guys call them ninja zombies. Which I can kind of agree. They're, like, the ones that come out of nowhere. Also, this is another slow door opening animation. Blah, 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 blah. Apple juice is good. <laughs> Might have ruined the moment, but whatever. And also a voice crack. Oh. Well, body bag's empty. Body disappeared. Ellipsis, exclamation point. And someone's joining a few stuff. That's like a doctor or something. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Is it just me or is his eye extremely prominent? Like, you can't even tell me that that's not, like, fake. Not fake, but, like... It was rolling, did you see that? But yes, yeah, so if you kick up this, you get a glass eye. Now, <laughs> that's kind of weird. In other versions of the game, it isn't that prominent. Like, I played the GameCube version, like, yesterday or something, and it wasn't that obvious. I don't know. Use down here. Boom. I guess they wanted to make it more obvious for people who were playing this game who were like new to it, I guess. I don't know. But whatever. Oh god, yeah. Um, The only bit downside of not having the, li the lighter here is that these bats are actually can hurt you. Also, oh. Yes, okay. Alright, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, they can kind of gang up on you here, like right here. Uh, what? Do I do that? What? <laughs> do I, what? Stop it. Yeah, they can. It's not a good time. It's not a good time. Yo, look at this. It's like a freaking torture room, dude. What the hell? Hang on, bolt at her. There's bug on bolt somewhere on here. I don't know where though. Where am I in? Am I in caution? Okay, still. I have three full healing items right now. It's kind of intense. I should kill all these zombies. Just like look around here. Okay, what is this? I wonder what this weird device is used for. I really have no idea. That looks kind of like a spike pit. I don't know. Can I look at this? Can I look at this? Nothing. Strange devices are displayed here. Well, oh, Clary, pretty, I believe this, aren't you? Who is this? Can I see it? No? Okay. The main point here is you want to go around this way. This is like the true torture chamber in here. You see there's blood everywhere. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, okay. Um, hello. Stone armor is holding some, or Stone statue is holding some armor. Stone statue is holding a helmet. There's a sword here. A stone statue is holding a rusted sword. See, now I can use this. I can use this for myself. Why can't? Oh, well, it's locked. Okay, whatever. Well. Oh god. Wait, hold on. I just saw something. Is that a reference to RE One? The whole like armor, helmet, shield, sword thing. Is that a reference to the keys? I never thought about that before. By the way, just push this thing until the shield like faces the end, and I think you can die. If you don't do it fast enough, which doesn't make any sense. Why is it? You think it would just rise to the top? Whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to complain about the logic of this game because it makes no sense. Alright, just take the rusted sword and use. Nope, oh, check it. What does it say? Trust it can't be used. Why? Why can't it be used as a weapon? I don't understand. Rusty, you think it'd be better if it's rusted? Whatever. I don't know. Zombie, why are you in here? Die. Die. Yes, there's a zombie in there. You'd think he'd be easier to kill than he has a freaking sword through his chest, but whatever. Anyways, the whole point of this thing is this piano roll right here. The whole point of this whole area is this. Kind of dumb. But that's Resident Evil for you. Do a whole part of the game for one item. Eh. Like I said, I'm not going to question... Oh god, that was... Am I in... How am I not in orange caution yet, dude? This is insane. Take the bite. Take the bite. I didn't get bit. Yeah. Like, there's there's some things you can do in this game. Like, if you spam fast enough, you can actually avoid getting bitten. This is the only game, to my knowledge, that could do that easily, at least. 
Ermagird, Ermagird. All right, cool. But yeah, I'm actually almost done with Claire's first part, if I remember correctly. All right, this place is stupid and over with. I'm done. I kind of wish they would um, make a game that was kind of like remake. Oh god. But like, um, what is it? Like remake, but with this many zombies. How hard that would be with like the redeads or not the redeads? Ah, why do I keep calling them that? Freaking um. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, what was I saying? With the crimson heads. That's it. I don't know why I keep calling them redeads. Still, f four games later, I'm calling them redeads. Cool. Um, no. Yeah. No. This is the third game later. Oh god. Yes, yeah, sadly we're done with the prison. We're done with everything for now. We won't see Enrico forever. Sad face. But yeah, I think that'd be kind of interesting, like a hard mode of this game. Like not like not regularly it would be here, but like if someone made like a hack or something where they come back as stronger, that'd be hard to program though. Jeez. But I think it'd be a good challenge. That's for damn sure. I need to check and see if I have the grenade launcher because I really need to know that. Um, I don't have that. That's kind of a problem. Um, I'm pretty sure I do. I don't know why I wouldn't get it. Yeah, I, yeah, I have it. Oh, I'm dumb. I have it for sure. Oh, well, that happened. That happened. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to hit you. Uh, they haven't hit me yet, and I've walked like right past them. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's whatever. All right. Uh, I have the proof there. It's kind of funny how that proof. I think they just ran out of ideas to put it there. It's like, eh, I just put it right here, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I still don't know if it was to that door, but whatever. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. <laughs> What are you going to do to him? <laughs> oh, how your brother will weep to see you die. <laughs> what? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. I love how she just like gets up from there. Like he stepped on her shoulder a lot, grabbed her by the chin or the jawbone really, and kicked her in the face. <laughs> That's Wesker, by the way. He's back in this game. Um, kind of dumb. I don't know. He's the one who attacked the island, blah, blah, blah. I hate Wesker. I'm just saying that. He's the worst kind of person, MO. But whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that because, you know, people love Wesker and I like crap. Which is why I hope he doesn't come back in RE6, but I already know he's going to, so I don't know even why I'm saying it, but whatever. This is, by the way, this is the room we come into once we have all the stuff, like the um, piano roll. This is the room I unlocked earlier. Um, there's herbs here I want to use. I'm pretty sure I'm in pretty low orange costume, so I'm just going to use both of these. There's two herbs right here. I'm just going to use both of them, because why not? Alright. Okay, okay. Just to be safe, I mean, it's better to be in high or high fine than, you know, low fine, you know? Can't ever be too cautious. Okay. Now, it's actually kind of cool, because if you look out here, you can actually see the residents, which I think is really neat. And if there's zombies on there, you can still see the zombies, which is really cool. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> there's like a casino room, which I really like. Like, 
stuck here anyways. We played the piano roll rock, huh? The song plays again, of course. Conveniently enough, it makes uh, the kingmaker is the one that opens and the king object is anything. Nice, all right. <clears throat> So now we're pretty much done with everything. The only thing we need to do still <clears throat> is get our last proof, which is our third our third proof, and go put these objects in, which I'm going to do in the next episode because I'm out of time. So thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, next episode, we're going to be finishing off um, this whole section of the game, right? So I'll see you guys then.